spread of COVID-19 in schools. Seniors Stephen Reed and Malav Patel join us now to tell us more about it. Good morning, both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Well, this is just wonderful. We love when high school kids are doing things great. I couldn't do anything even for the science fair. Tell me how you guys <laughs> came up with this. At the beginning of the pandemic, we both found that we had a lot of time on our hands. So we decided to research COVID. And I came across an article that described using light in patient rooms to, dis to disinfect hospital patient rooms. I thought it was very interesting. So I asked myself, how could I bring this down to a community level, a school level, and help everyone? After a lot of tinkering in my garage, we both came up with a chemical-free electronic-based machine to sanitize commonly used objects in a school. So do you have the machine there? Can we take a look? Uh, actually, we do not have the machine there, but the pictures we sent do, there you go. Yes, yeah, now we're looking at them right there. So tell us how the machine works. So the machine is similar to a, an x-ray scanning machine at an airport. However, instead of x-rays, we use UVC light. An object is placed on a conveyor belt and then conveyed into a rectangular enclosure where it's immersed in 360 degrees of UVC light and it comes out the other side sanitized. So how big is this machine? It looks like this is the size of a building. <laughs> Our machine pictured is eight feet by two feet wide. However, oh. we, can, we can customize it to any size necessary for whatever classroom or school needs it. Now, why is this any better than what they're already doing at schools? Previous schools we've talked to use 99% isopropyl alcohol along with bleach to sanitize their commonly used objects. Both these harsh chemicals degrade the surfaces at a, of the materials cleaned at a very fast rate. They are expensive and they take a lot of time to use as you have to spray, wipe, and then let them dry. Our machine is completely chemical free and electronic based, so it is more time efficient, cost effective, and does not degrade surfaces at the same rate. Well, how much would it cost for a school to get one of these machines and do you, are they in production? Yeah, so we are taking orders currently and we can, if we are ready to implement these the first week of January. And uh, our machine is, depending on the school size and how many ordered, that's how price is decided. Yes. I see. Steven, uh, tell us uh, how long it took you guys to develop this machine. Well, we, we started working on the first prototype in early August. Uh, we started uh, building a prototype in his garage using materials we could find at a hardware store. Uh, just trying to get a working prototype to see if we could actually bring this project to market and if we could implement it into schools. Hmm. I, I'm just astounded. Are you guys going to do this in your free time in your garage? Or how, <laughs> how are you going to get the supplies and do all of it? So for actual production, we've contacted an offshore factory that is willing to produce for us. Now let's hope that you're getting an A in science at your <laughs> school. Are they appreciating what you're doing there, guys? Yes, yes they are. we hope so, yeah. What did, I mean, do, does this happen all the time at Niles North? Is this like for a, a science fair that you guys came up with this or, or are you just doing this in your free time? Just free time, figure yeah. out a way to help our community. What the, look at this. Look at this, amazing. Boys. Right. It's just lovely. I was I, trying to do the volcano with the, you know, the, the, bake, the baking the, powder oh, yeah, and the, yeah. the vinegar here, and these guys are actually making a difference. We're full of ideas for you guys. Just give yeah. us a call if you need any help. So best of luck to you. If you want more information, you can check out UV4 Schools. That's UV number four schools dot com. Congratulations, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. Is so it possible much. to say one more thing? Yeah. So even post COVID-19, thousands of absences are recorded every single year due to common illnesses such as the cold or flu. Our product can help lower the spread of this and in turn increase student attendance. So post COVID-19, our product, er, the rate of the rate return on investment is still there. If you'd um, like to see this implemented into your local school, please visit our website, uv4schools.com, and we can make this a reality. Yes. Let's get the whole Sounds presentation. Good. That's right. I love it. <laughs> well done, guys. You're Thanks going so places, much. Guys. Thanks Thank so you guys, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Man, we are a couple of dopes. Yeah, Look at how smart nothing. these kids yeah. are. Yeah, you guys are. <laughs>